Hello, uh, I thought I'd do another update again just to remind myself of my progress and who knows it might be of interest to someone else. So what we've got here is an extension of what I have been working on which is this heli will pick up and then drop this crate. Um, a barracks will be auto spawned um, block by block. Um, it will also create uh, a marker around the helipad and the idea now is that you need to populate uh, or resupply rather the base with ammo supplies and fuel over time the supply numbers will dwindle and drop so there's a constant um, supply dynamic to this um, and I think what I want to try and do is have different um, attributes happen when you have different bases. So so the different bases that I want to make are so barracks, we've seen those, uh, medical outpost, that was the first one I did. I want to do a radar station, an observation post, a heli base, carpool, workshop and training camp. And the idea, roughly, is that each one of those things will uh, unlock some kind of a benefit or a, a perk for the for the side. So um, radar stations, uh, if you have a radar station in operation that could give you more advanced warning of enemy activity or something like that. And as uh, any of the scores go down to zero, um, the perk disappears or something like that. So just to talk you through this, this is the init server.sqf, which is the uh, the server init, basically. Um, those are just my notes. I've got creation states here, so I've got a state for each of these types. I'm setting them all to false initially, and as they're made, I turn them to true. And once they are true, they're included in account. So if there's nothing true, nothing gets counted. If only radar is true, because that's the first thing you build, then uh, you get radar stats and so on and so on. And eventually <coughs> I might put all of those stats into the map or something so they're out of the way. Um, then I'm using public variable to set the, uh, on, on a server level, set the values of food, ammo, fuel for each of the uh, eight um, base types. Um, then I, once I've declared all of this stuff, I then cycle the count of supplies. So I, I check what the numbers are and then I deplete them. And that's minus one every two minutes at the moment, but I can tweak all that. Uh, that's just a clean up and this is my sling load monitor event handler which is in here so this is a bit messy and can definitely be improved but I've got uh, an empty event handler for rope attach uh, don't know what I want to do with that yet so that just does nothing get rid of that. Uh, Heli1 is a hard-coded asset at the moment but eventually that will be the dynamically generated Heli of the multiplayer player. Um, it's a rope break event handler. It looks for a number of different things um, and I think this can be switched rather than ifed. But I'll come back to that but basically it's looking to see what the thing is that you should be building. So at the moment I've got the blue for med base, blue for barracks, blue for base supplies and then again blue for base supplies. 
so that's duplication that, that can be improved um, there's definitely something missing there I think I'm missing a, a supplies fuel oh, so I'm missing ammo <laughs> okay I'll come back to that so in terms of the functions um, declaring all of the function classes in description uh, and I started off just with one functions file but then I thought splitting that out to another level might be helpful so I've got ambient stuff I've got the build stuff I've got the count stuff and I will also have a spawn uh, functions folder and so on and what I realized that meant is that for each of these uh, folders which are these you need your own .hpp function declaration file um, but you can't use the same tag so I've put this uh, small prefix to reflect the style of class so normally I would just do rgg which is my tag but for this I'm doing rgg a for ambient rgg b for build rgg c for count and the way these files work is that they basically um, this is a really bad description but they categorize the different functions that you're preloading into the mission so uh, let's start with the build stuff so no let's start with the sling lead monitor so if let's say I detect a rope break and the item I'm dropping is an ammo box or crate then it will spawn that with some things in it so the build blue for barracks is here and that then triggers this big file of building um, there's definitely more to it I'm missing out a load of stuff and this is all untested I mean it, sorry it has been tested throughout but this is the first end-to-end -end test I've done so it could go wrong let's see
along with the dynamic. Pick up some fuel next. alone is quite interesting um, and kind of fun in the uh, logistics side of things. Just to yeah, move and create some kind of that sort of thing, but See the bottom left of food and um, um, food and fuel schools are now down to nine. Or ten. Yep, I think that's what's missing.
route am I worth? So I'm just going to do this for a bit. Um, just for fun. But yeah, that, that pretty much is the progress. So the ammo and fuel, sorry, the ammo and food have gone down already.
pieces in their place. Food is 7, Pew of 8, and 17. 